Welcome to NASO. We're very pleased to have you join us. You're most welcome. We continue with our series on finding education establishments to study in on the continent of Africa. And today we are looking at the beautiful country of Liberia. So if you are anywhere in the diaspora in the world and you're thinking of studying, consider studying in Liberia. So to find out about the um, education in Liberia, we start off with the trying to find the government website for Liberia. So we type government Liberia and we've noticed that, let me move this out of the way. We've noticed that whenever we search for um, African countries website, there are often many other links that come, but I see, I see this LR, gov.lr, which let's open it and go have a look. Excellent. So here we have emansion.gov.lr. So executive mansion, and we have the president, His Excellency George Weir. So they have a bit about the bio of George Weir. And I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I'm sure that's right. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure that he was a football player. That is so cool. I love it. Love that. Yeah, he did have a very, he became famous at a young age. Look at that. Soccer career. <laughs> Look at that. Liberia have a very handsome president. Okay, so the biography of Liberia's 24th president. Dr. George Manor. So they talk about his education, where he studied, public administration. And you never know all this about football players. Highly educated in elementary schools. Shout out to that. Had his wonderful soccer career. Played for Paris Saint-Germain. Wow. <laughs> I love the listing. Look at that. Look at the individual awards. Anyway, excuse me, I digress. So that's the president. The vice president, let's find the vice president. Oh, very nice. So the vice president, love the blue. Just beautiful, beautiful. The vice president is Honorable Chief Dr. Jewel Howard Taylor, vice president, Republic of Liberia. And for her bio, we have autobiography, College of West Africa. Look at all the qualifications. Um, she's the daughter of Bong County born to the royal household. I like this. I like when we present our people. Again, I digress, but there's so much. As you read through this website, they really give an insight into our heritage, our cultures, things that may not be talked about out there, you know, in the bigger social media or the internet world. But here we are. So they've been put to her speeches, etc. But there's so much, so please come back and browse through all of this. You have first the vice president and then you have the first lady. So Her Excellency Claire Marie Ware, mother of three, I like that, nursing by profession, I'm telling you Africa is where it's at. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, that is really cool. Nice to see, nice to see all the diaspora coming together. Very nice, very nice, beautiful, okay. Then you have Chief of Staff, speeches, major issues. Hmm. Let's see what they consider infrastructure services. That's good. We need to document money laundering. It happens sometimes. But it's good that the major issues are infrastructure services because I think that's probably prevalent through that whole West African corridor with Salian being next door and my ode to being Salianian. <laughs> So we're familiar with common infrastructure and basic services. Wow. So these, yeah, I mean, absolutely, these websites are worth going to learn about a country because then you can find they have a whole link on China um, and some information here. So you can go read and see what's going on, see what the speeches are. Because of all the um, speeches, they've got inauguration, United Nations, joint session of Congress, and they have China. See any other individual country that's listed on this president's house. 
um, which is saying something. So the Ministry of Education, this is of the imansion.gov.la where the president stage was. Um, so the minute they mentioned the Ministry of Education, let's see if they have a link for it. Like, for goodness sake, how are you having your procurements going to a Gmail address? We have to do better. We've got to do better. You cannot have things going to any Gmail address. You have your government website. Please use it. Okay, so um, I'm not seeing the only thing I'm seeing is this MOE Liberia, which he has a whole bunch of stuff. Surely Liberia has got a lot of things, but <clears throat> So they have the minister, Professor Ansudo Sony Senior. Ah, it says visit website. Maybe it goes back to the main gov.lr. No, it goes back to this technology thing. We have decided that Liberia. Mm, so let's move on. I have to be able to get over things. <laughs> So now let's see what we can find. We want to find the Liberia Education Advancement Program. No one to find the come. It seems as though it is. It has things that um, websites would, but it is a dot com. Liberia, please. Let's see what they are doing. Let's have a look at the media center. Show the light. The people will find the way. Love that. Look at the more news, recent news. So it's ul.edu.lr. And here it is. This is its website. Very nice. University of Liberia. They have Office of Information Technology, University of Liberia staff directory. You can call them toll free. But it's also on the point of contact. Um, there's an email, default label. Let's we go through and see if they have, let me see if I click that. So let's go to academics, publications, colleges and schools. So they have undergraduate colleges, graduate programs, professional schools, Confucius Institute, vocational programs, teaching and learning center and publications. Let's go to undergraduate colleges. Wow, look at this. Liberia College of Social Science and Humanities, Department of Sociology and Anthropology, Mass Communication Department, Politics, Politics, Studies and Research, College of Education. Let's see if there's so much more. See if I can move this down. Administration, and there is even more down here. So let's click on that one because it's just out of the screen, and you would not want to miss that one thing that you really wanted to go and study in Liberia. However, you can still see the same links there and they have monthly archives because agriculture is key. We need more people to study agriculture so and promote growing, establishing farms, identify things that we have on the continent which can assist other parts of the continent that may have water shortages so we can supply our own food products to the whole continent so there isn't famine. Agriculture is so important. So college overview of Liberia. So they have Department of General Agriculture, General Forestry, Agronomy, Home Science and Community Development, Wood Science and Technology, and Agricultural Extension, Non-Degree Granting. So there's a lot you can think of. Professor Leroy Gagbe. Oh, I see crop production, crop protection, soil science and horticulture. These are key for the future. These are key for the future so we can preserve our seeds, non-GMO, organic, natural and the wonderful variety of seeds and plants we have on the continent. So this is a very good and useful. So if you're in the diaspora and you think of what shall I study, please consider studying Liberia and um, some forestry, agriculture, agronomy, because we have the African rainforest out there. So that's one of those. And if you want to look at the graduate program, so they have the MBA, MPA, Kofi Annan Institute of Conflict Transformation. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one before. Let's have a look. I mean, professional schools, College of Law or School of Law and College of Health Scientists. 
and you have the Confucius Institutes of Liberia. Okay, so here we have Confucius Institute at the University of Liberia. I wonder if there's a Liberian Institute of Culture University program in China where they have Liberian painting, Liberian movies, Liberian songs, Liberian calligraphy, Liberian handicrafts, Liberian dancing, Liberian martial arts, Liberian festivals. Science and Humanities faculty programs. Again, you look in programs. When I click in programs, it comes back to here. Department and programs, communications, media, literature, geography, history, crafts, arts and crafts, French, political science, Liberia studies. Let me go see Liberia studies. Social science, Liberia student life, Liberian languages. So dear Liberia, when I come to your main page and we go to this here, when we come to this page and very beautifully laid out, you see very, very well done. You see the staff, the information is presented really well. You see the cultural courses right there and it appears that you may be able to click on them and they have all these things. All of this is fine. However, Liberia, we do not see this, we do not see you offering this about Liberia. We do not, there's nowhere on your website where people can go and all your cultural courses are in one place, organized like this. It is important that we learn about different languages and culture. And I know Chinese is really important that we learn. And all this is fine. Just a little bit disappointed that I cannot find the same level of information provided about Liberia on a University of Liberia website. Singe Town, Cape Grand Cape Mount. It was established by the Liberian government with the initial assistance from Stairs Foundation essay. This one, it says, prepare students for the job market, self-employment, possible transfer to university college for further education. Oh, I see. So it's so it has an associate science degree, short some workforce, okay. So if you are anywhere and you were not sure what to do and you think you want to do an associate degree and travel, anyone thinking of traveling in the continent, one of the best ways is to actually go study there. Because when you have those semesters, holidays, time off, etc., you can travel beyond where your university is located or just by being there is that whole travel experience. So if you're in between, you finish high school somewhere in the diaspora in the West, and you think, I don't really know what I want to do yet, do perhaps an associate degree in Liberia and um, learn about these things, use it as a travel opportunity, or even do a whole degree in Liberia. We have academic program, like degree in agriculture, education and engineering. Let's spend some time and read through this. And if you've thought about, I want to go visit Liberia, Liberia has the connection with the American Liberians who returned Liberia space. So there's a connection, there's a culture, even the flag has an ode, a nod to the US. There's a strong, we would all like to see presented and um, it is a work in progress. We appreciate you, Liberia. So University of Liberia, thank you for your site. It was very good, informative. We only have a question on your programs because we would like to see more programs promoting Liberian culture. The other um, university, I think there was a Methodist. So UMU, the URL is umu.edu.lr. The tell us straight away, the sixth president is Dr. Yeah. So the leadership, see who's running it in charge. This is always important to find out who's running things, have a sense for what they put out there. Look at that. President, Dr. Ya Donla Gonwe Gono, PhD. The only thing is Dr. Ya, your contact address is at yahoo.com. The Your contact address should be tied into your edu.lr and umu. Vice President of Academic Affairs, if I, let me see if I click. No, it's not clickable. I'll have to go find someone's a vice president of academic affairs. 
See, ah, look at that. The Vice President for Administration, Isaac.padmo at umu.edu.lr. So he has a university email address. But we have a yahoo.com address. We may need to fix that. Kindly, respectfully, Madam President. And I love the accomplishment. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Oh, and we have to tell the Chief Financial Officer. His email address is coming alert. For real, coming <laughs> Yes, we need to get our professional email addresses provided. Dean of Admissions, Dean for Academic Affairs. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, so the leadership was great. I don't know where you can get the, some more information about them, which I would like to have been able to share. But in the absence, it is not there. Let me see if it's home. No, about statement directors listing. Okay, I didn't see that. Let's go straight to admissions. So if you would like to study at the university, United Methodist University of Liberia, admissions. So into admissions. So now there's financial information. Oops. Undergraduate finance. Oh, let's see how much. You okay. Undergraduate financial information. Tuition, related fees are very reasonable. If it's very reasonable that you know, he said, they have said they're very reasonable for students and their families. So diaspora, are you listening? Are you listening? New student, um, the tele percentage payment. So academic course breakdown, non-science major. Oh, look at that. $15 per course credit for real. Like, and look at that, um, nursing and science major, $20 per course credit. The foreign exchange is doing Africa a very, very bad thing. However, if you're in the diaspora, this is in your favor. This is in your favor. So $35, which a lot of people may spend on lunch, will get you a course credit in information technology. Can you imagine? Can you imagine domestic fees, $75 per semester? Is that real? Domestic fees for students in the College of Theology, College of Agriculture, College of Health Sciences, $75 per semester. $75 for your accommodation per semester. That's incredible. That is incredible. Diaspora. And again, we know Liberia produces high quality graduates because they're employed from Liberia in the rest of the world with their Liberian qualifications. However, to get those qualifications, it's $75 per semester for domestic fees. Forget the debt in the West, Africa is calling. Okay, so that was worth visiting. So, um, Look at this, the students enrolled in information technology departments pay approximately between $700 and $800 for 18 credit hours per semester, inclusive of all school related fees and textbook. Drop the mic. You pay between $700 and $800 for 18 credit hours per semester, inclusive of all school related fees and textbooks. If you're in the West, Seriously, and people are quoting $300,000 for you to get the same qualification. To me, it makes no sense. We all need to be going to study in Africa. We need to be going to study in Africa because you boost the economy. The rent you're paying someone in the West who may not even be fixing anything, you can pay to the dormitory. And at $75 a semester, please, you'd have plenty left over to fix things that you need to fix. So that was um, financial information and worth going. Who apply now? There we are. First time student, select the student that best suits you. I think this was supposed to do something, but, but it is not doing anything. My recommendation would be to contact them and they have their um, email addresses as they have provided 
there's the Dean of Graduates in Theology. He has his Gmail address, which really should be the university's extension. Um, the same admissions and records, please email this address, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Okay, so there we have it. So you can contact them and find out how you too can go study for like $800 for 18 course credit in information technology. And we know, as we say, our people are smart. The quality of education you will get just at a fraction of the price. And imagine all your food will be proportionately less expensive um, transportation and you'd have this huge experience of just being in Liberia, appreciating the culture, the location, the everything, the faculty, the colleges. Again, look what they have. They have all these colleges and things that we touched on, because catalog, graduate of theology, been a so if you want to study religion, um, various aspects of it, this is the they do provide that theology. So instead of studying theology in the West and incurring huge fees, study theology on the continent. Why not? Campus life, sports, clubs and sports. Let's see what is there. Obviously, the more people that are coming soon, I like that. The more people that go to these universities and take your money, you're investing in the university. Then the university has an opportunity to offer more programs. So I think that is all. Let me see if there's anything additional on the Contact Us page. So the Contact Us page has, I think it's something's happening. Excellent. There's a map, email address. Oh, you enter your email address and send it's one of those box. Oh, there you go. There is a um, T-O-G-B-A, or that's someone's name at gmail.com. Again, United Methodist University. Please get together your email addresses. Doesn't look good, but thank you for thank you for visiting with us and taking a tour of these universities. Please like, subscribe, and share and come again next time. Thank you. Bye.